turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Doc to Help uses themes to design the skin that surrounds your content and online output. A theme controls the button display and labels, icons, colors, and much more. Some predefined themes are included for each online target, and it's easy to create a custom theme to meet your needs and preferences. You can choose a specific theme for a target by opening the Target ribbon and clicking the Target Properties button. You can also select it from the Target Theme dropdown. As an example, let's look at NetHelp, the most popular online output type in Doc to Help. With a NetHelp target selected in the Target ribbon, you can click the Target Theme drop-down and choose one of six factory themes – Accordion, Accordion Logo, Responsive, Responsive Logo, Tabs, or Tabs Logo. You might want to build your output with each of these six factory themes to see which design you like best. The Responsive theme is particularly attractive because it adjusts automatically based on the size of your user's device. You can't edit any of the factory themes, however, you can create a new theme based on one of the factory themes and make all kinds of changes to it. In this example, we'll click the Add New button, give it a name, and base its design on the responsive factory theme. The Theme Designer opens. This designer is one way to make changes to your theme. You can click the Preview tab to navigate to different parts of the design. Then, when you land on a particular area you want to change, you can switch back to Design and make your edits on the right side of the designer. Depending on where you click on the left side of the designer, different settings become available on the right side of this dialog. You can also click the drop-down at the top of the right side to select a specific group of settings. For example, you might select Accessibility and change the text used by screen readers. Or you might select Buttons and select different icons for the theme. The settings for the responsive theme are all explained in this topic in the online help. Here's another way to make changes to your custom theme. You can click this button at the top of the designer. This opens a dialog which lets you add a new style sheet from Theme Roller. Click the link in the dialog. This opens the Theme Roller website. From here, you can make all kinds of changes, such as changing the colors to match your company colors. You can click this link, which lets you choose a very specific color. For example, the primary color for the Madcap Doc to Help application is the hex number 70C0A9. We know this because we asked our graphics people. And graphics people always know about things like hex numbers. To locate a graphics person in your company, just look for an individual working in front of a whole bunch of computer monitors that are larger than the ones you'd find in an average professional football stadium. We can enter our hex number right here in this field after the hashtag. You might need to click away from the pop-up and back on the link again, but the color should be shown in this area. You can then click this color and drag it below to replace the default color. You can drag colors to change all different parts of the design. For more information about working with the jQuery mobile theme roller, see this website. When you're done making your color changes, as well as any other changes you want to make, click the Download button at the top. This lets you give your new theme style sheet a name and download it to a zip file. After you do this, go back to Theme Designer in your doc to help project. In the Add New Style Sheet wizard, click the Browse button and choose the zip file you just downloaded. By default, it will be located in your Downloads folder and will begin with the words jQuery Mobile Theme, followed by some numbers. When you finish the wizard, your style sheet will be loaded into the Theme Designer. Notice that it's selected at the top of the Style Sheet field. If you're happy with your changes to the theme, click OK. But there's one more place where you can make some changes to your theme. On the Target ribbon, click the Wizard button to launch the Theme Wizard. On the first page of the NetHelp Theme Wizard, select the basic layout. In our example, we selected Responsive, then click Next. On the next page of the wizard, your custom style sheet should already be selected. If it isn't, choose it from the drop-down, then click Next. On the next page of the wizard, you can either select an existing theme or create a new one. In this example, we'll just select the custom theme we already created, then click Next. On the next page of the wizard, you can make a few changes related to basic branding of your output. First of all, you might want to choose an icon file. The icon will appear in places like browser tabs, address bars, and favorite lists. You can also choose a small logo, which will appear at the top of the navigation pane in your responsive layout. For best results, you should keep the logo smaller than around 40 pixels high by 300 pixels wide. You can have your graphics people create the logo for you, on their enormous monitors. You can also make minor adjustments to the header and text areas on this page. Then click Next. On this page of the wizard, you can easily change the title bar text, choose a different language to display the theme text, and make the theme accessible in case you need to comply with Section 508.
then click Next and Finish. And that's it. You can generate your output to see how it all looks, and if you need to make any changes, you can always go back and edit your theme.